Salut, it's Paul from Jogsley.com and I got my hands on the newest release from the toy drone company Visual. The company and some of its drones have recently raised in popularity quite a lot, mainly because they make quite cheap drones and with features that people actually request. First of all, I bought it in this carrying case, which is quite amazing for the price. Most toy drones come in cheap plastic boxes that you better throw than keep around. If you're interested in this drone, don't forget to check down the price in the description. It does come with a simple to understand manual and guess what, the quadcopter itself is foldable. It looks quite a lot like the previous versions, I'll take a closer look at it in a moment. These are some of the accessories, the main one being the battery and actually multiple batteries. We can pick between 1 and 3. I have the version with 2. The battery has 1800mAh and we'll see at the end how much it lasts for. These are the standard accessories, some spare propellers, chrome guards and a screwdriver. It's pretty nice that we get a quick stop guide on the transmitter in case you're in a hurry. The controller feels very much like a gamepad and it feels like it has a pretty good grip. There's the takeoff and land button that have pretty obvious functions and the stop button that you only press if you suddenly want to cut off the motor power in case the drone gets stuck in a tree or something. These buttons are for trimming, but you probably won't need them, just like the return to home and headless mode. Maybe the headless mode will be useful for beginners though. You can see the live feed of the camera through the phone that you can put in the holder right here. Also, this controller works with three AA batteries, so be aware of that. I always love this type of phone for a drone case as it's somewhere between sturdy and soft, very pleasant to the touch. Now back to the drone itself. It has a very smooth plastic canopy that also happens to be quite soft, soft enough so you can actually press down it. But hold on, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. As in the case of a crash, it does absorb a lot from the shock and also keeps the plastic from cracking. The drone has these quite cool LEDs that look pretty badass and in the front side there's also the movable 720p camera and not only that, but it specs another smaller camera on the bottom that works both as an optical flow sensor that keeps the drone flying in the spot by constantly taking pictures of the ground and keeping it flying steady. This however doubles as an actual working camera that faces down you can see and capture the images from both in the app. There's a few live feed modes, including having both camera feeds simultaneously on the screen. This makes it quite unique and considerably improves the fun you can have with it. Keep in mind that the drone can save everything both on a microSD card slot and on your phone directly. Just make sure to insert the microSD card correctly or else it might get stuck in there. The Visual XS 816 flies very stable but it has quite low power by default and that's probably made because they wanted to conserve as much battery as possible. It does come with the ability to do flips and you can also choose between three speed modes. But the fastest one is still pretty slow. Yes, this is the drone flying as fast as it can. But it's not necessarily a bad thing if you want to use it for its filming capabilities. As moving it slower can result in smoother video overall. Now it's about time I show you some actual footage and even some photos taken with it. Stay on the line, as at the end I will list both the advantages and disadvantages of getting this job.
advantages and disadvantages of the visual excess, in my opinion, it has improved on the previous iterations because of the impressive battery life. The very unique ability to record on two cameras simultaneously and overall the more show resistant plastic it is made of. It's definitely not perfect. But considering you can get this drone, three batteries for it and a case in the same package for under $80 is quite a steal. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification icon if you want to see more videos like this. And also comment down below and tell me if you like this drone or not. Thanks for watching and see you later. Everybody.